In this video, I wanted to go in a little bit more in depth as far as the linking relationships that you can do with lights and objects in Maya. One thing in uh, previous demonstrations, whenever uh, we've worked with lighting, is you kind of put the light in the scene and it's just there in the scene. Everything is affected by it. Maya actually offers you capabilities that what you can do is you can actually choose what is affected by what light. This can be great as far as, for example, using, you know, an environmental delight, light or a directional light that you only want it to be actually affecting certain objects. So to begin, what I did was I grabbed two of the sculpting models and one of the things I did was I did turn the light on as far as you can see the lights in the rendering here, but also too, I used an area light and a point light. So just to start out here, I'm going to go ahead and open the render view and I'm going to zoom in here so that we can really kind of just make sure we can see here and I'm going to go ahead and render out here and this is kind of what we're going for and I'll explain this a little bit more in depth but what's really cool about this is if you notice between what you're actually seeing in the scene versus what is being rendered here the area light is actually in front of this fish here we can give him that cyan color but if you notice in the render it's actually not catching at all here and instead it's only picking up the point lighting Meanwhile, the larger fish in the back there is actually picking up the area lighting. This can be a very powerful tool as far as setting up and creating scenes. So how do we do this? This is a method through, window, through the window dropdown menu that we create a relationship. So under the window dropdown menu in Maya, there is something called relationship editors. If you take a quick glance through here, you can see there's actually quite a few here but we're going to go to light linking. You have two choices here. Let's go ahead and start out with light centric. What that's going to do is that is going to mean that it is going to base and look at all of the lighting in the scene currently and what objects are in the scene. So you would highlight and choose a light and then you would come over to the object side and choose what objects do you actually want the light to affect. You can tell something is being affected by the light, just so you're aware, by this kind of bluish highlighting. But notice here, for example, this fish uh, sculpt is not being affected. So I'll go ahead and click on that. And let's do another quick render and take a look at what happens. You can see now that because the area light was so close to the, the first fish there, I mean, kind of washes it out there practically. So I can also show you, though, if you want to turn it off or take the relationship you know maybe there's no relationship between the area light and the fish behind so let's take a look at that I do a re-render now you see it's kind of lost that cyan splash of light there and now what you have is you just have the point light affecting it so this is a very powerful element when you're working in 3d modeling that it's not a matter of you put a light in a scene and you're locked to it affecting everything so I'm actually going to go ahead and reflip this just so that, and you can see, you know, I get a much more dramatic type of feel here as far as the overall scene goes. The other thing just to show everyone is if you click on the drop down menu in the relationship editor, you can also go to the object centric light linking, which as you can see, it just kind of flip flops the two windows here. So here you can see like my big fish one is being affected by both lights. But if I come back into the big fish here, the one in front here, notice it remembers that I turned off the area light when I did the light linking. I can turn it on here, render, and it's gonna have the same effect. It's up to you how you like to think about it. For me personally, it's a little easier whenever I'm planning that I look at it from the light point of view and kind of gaze into the scene onto the objects as the light. So again, you can just click and choose what is affected, but to access the relationship editor window, you're going to want to go under window. You're going to go under the relationship editors and you're going to want to look for light linking. As you add more lights to a scene, you will have more control and control over each of those lights and what type of objects they are actually lighting up.